All right, so I recently got a comment from Nash and Klein, and he says, dude, that front lever is so sick. You would be the man if you taught us that. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So the front lever was one of the movements that I learned first when I started calisthenics. I just thought it looked so cool with your body like defying gravity like that. And it's also a really great strength building exercise and especially the progressions that get you to it are really great to be doing anyway. So you get to learn a cool skill, but you also get stronger at the same time. So this is really one of those movements where you want to take time and learn it correctly. Like if you just start jumping in to front levers and just like swinging with your momentum and trying to get yourself there, you'll have a really hard time learning it like that and it'll take you way too long. So I have some tips and some progressions that you can go through that'll definitely help you get it quicker. I'm not gonna put a certain amount of reps or sets down or amount of time that you have to be doing these for because it's gonna differ for everybody. You just wanna be giving this constant attention, do these a few times a week, and then when that progression or that movement gets easy, move to something more difficult. So with the front lever, you really want your arms to be totally straight and your body parallel to the ground. And there are two areas that you need to focus on to get there, and that is straight arm strength and core strength. So to work on straight arm strength, you can do a few different movements, and one of them being the ice cream maker. So go into a pull-up position, straighten out your body so that you're parallel with the ground, trying to just barely lock out those arms. So if this is too difficult, you could always do a single leg variation or you could do a fully tucked variation as well. So if you wanted to, you could also do these as a drop set starting with the most difficult variation and then making it easier as you get tired. So with whatever variation you're doing, make sure that you focus on locking those arms out when you get to the bottom of the movement. This is really important, it's something I neglected when I first started and it's been pretty hard to correct. So the next one isn't necessarily a sexy one or glamorous, but it is so crucial and it's the tucked hold. So this one you want to make sure your pelvic bone is high, your back is flat, and your arms are straight, remember. You might be stuck on this one for a while, so get comfortable with it, get used to it, learn it, love it, live it. <laughs> so you don't want to do this and let your butt sag at all. That will not help you. You want to make sure that you can keep your hips nice and high like this. So once you start getting more comfortable holding your arms straight, getting your back nice and flat, parallel with the ground and your hips high, then you can start to extend one leg and this will make it a lot more difficult. And remembering to keep your arms straight and your hips high without arching your back. And then once those start to get easier, you can try and start doing some front pulls and see how that feels. Try and stall it at the top for a little bit if you can. So these hanging exercises are great, but as many of you guys know, especially when you're starting out with calisthenics, your grip strength gets tired. So here's a few different movements that you can do on the ground that will help you progress towards that front lever. So this is the dragon flag, and I'm sure you guys know this one. There's lots of tutorials online how to get this. I think I even have one. And uh, you could do easier variations, just like with the front lever holds. You can do like one-legged or tucked variations if you're not quite there yet. And then there is this one. So this is one I neglected when I started and now I'm paying for it. So learn it early. This is a hollow hold. Start by laying flat on the ground. Make sure the curve of your back is pressed into the ground. Keep your stomach drawn in, toes pointed, and arms overhead. Slowly lift your shoulder blades and legs off the ground while keeping the lower back planted. If you can get your shoulder blades higher than me, do it. This one's really tough for me. Like I said, I definitely neglected it. This will help with so many more advanced movements, so definitely work on it like I need to be. All right, so I hope that's helped you guys out. Definitely like this video if it has. Leave the comments in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your time for you clicking on this video. Definitely subscribe to see more from me. Peace.